What's up everybody, we're back. And if I had to pick one amp synth to have on my computer, it would absolutely be the Neural Amp Modeler. I looked back yesterday and saw that I've been using the Neural Amp Modeler for about a year now. And a lot of things have changed about the plugin since I started. In this video, I wanna show you what the plugin looks like right now and kind of give you a beginner's guide on how to get going with the Neural Amp Modeler. As I understand it can be kind of confusing and intimidating to get started with this. So what is Neural Amp Modeler? Well, let's go to the website and find out. Neuralampmodeler.com. Neural Amp Modeler is an open source project that uses deep learning to create models of guitar amplifiers and pedals with state-of-the-art accuracy. And it's not limited to guitar amps and pedals. You can do any kind of outboard gear, or bass amps, or anything like that, too. The project was started by Steve Atkinson with the idea to use machine learning in order to capture a guitar amp sound. And those sounds are turned into nom files and then can be loaded into the plugin. And since it's open source, it's free for anyone to use how they see fit. So I'm just a user here. I just download files and play them through the plugin. But you can use this to capture the sound of your gear, or you can take apart the coding and incorporate it into anything you want. And let me tell you, the guitar amp profiles are awesome. Let's go ahead and get into the plugin. Let's figure out how to download it and how to use it. The download is real easy. All you have to do is go to neuroampmodeler.com and hit play. Now, if you want to capture your own gear into profiles, this is where you would go to the create section. You can do it online or download the trainer locally. Then it provides a couple YouTube videos to show you how to do it. I won't show you how to do it here because I've never actually done it. This is where I live in the play area. If you have Windows, click Windows. If you have Mac, click Mac. And then follow the instructions on the installer and then you'll be good to go. And if you like Nam, I would definitely recommend joining the group on Facebook. A lot of discussion on there. I can't remember when I joined the group, but it was either below 800 or below 2000 and now it's up to like 14,000 or something ridiculous. So a lot has changed. So once you get it downloaded, load it into your DAW, and you have this blank canvas. So the Neural Amp Modeler itself does not come with any profiles. And that's where this next website comes in. When I first started with this plugin, most people would just put their name profiles in the Facebook group. And that was good for a while, but then it just got crowded and convoluted with the number of profiles. And since this is open source, there are a few options that were trying to become the centralized location of name profiles. And this is the one that won out. This is tonehunt.org. Over 8,000 amps, 2,000 pedals, and 3,000 IRs. Everything you're looking for is right here. So I'm looking at all models right now. You can scroll through if you want, but I am going to use the search bar. I want to look for an orange amp. I'm just going to type in orange, hit enter, and here are a bunch of orange options. We have the Dual Terror, another Dual Terror, Orange Rocker Verb, an OR 120 Crunch, another Rocker Verb. There's a whole bunch of stuff, and then you can see how many times they've been downloaded with this button right here. So I'm just going to download this first one, the Orange Dual Terror by Arlington Audio. They have a ton of awesome profiles. Make sure you check them out. So you can open it up here, read through everything that Arlington Audio has to say about the Orange Dual Terror and their profiles. And if you want it, you just hit download. Now that we've downloaded the profiles, we have to put them in a place where we can find them through the Neural Amp Modeler. So I have made this Arlington Audio Dual Terror profile into my Reaper folder. It doesn't matter where you store these, just make sure you know. Then I'm going to extract all of these files, select that folder, and then extract. So now when I come back to my DAW, I have the Neural Amp Modeler open. So I'm just gonna hit this folder on the select model. I'm gonna navigate to the folder where I downloaded everything and then double click. And boom, I have the orange loaded. It doesn't sound great right now because I don't have an IR loaded. Some of these profiles are made with the speaker cab in, so they'll say no IR needed or something like that. These are just the amp head, so I'm gonna go ahead and load an IR. Let's go to uh, Cabs of Chaos, volume one, Ampocalypse now. <laughs> So there you go. We got the AMP profile and the IR loaded into the AMP. And from there, the sky's the limit. You do whatever you want. Download as many profiles as you want, load as many profiles as you want, whatever. So one thing I will add, it's just kind of a downside of where the technology is right now. You really only have one setting per profile. Like you're not gonna be able to adjust settings like you would on a traditional AMP or like a normal AMP plugin. So instead of having one thing and then being able to turn the gain knob on that, you have a bunch of different profiles at a bunch of different gain settings and a bunch of different EQs. However they made the profiles, that's what you have. So in this case, with this orange dual terror, that's why there are so many profiles. If your profiles are together though, you can use these arrow keys to navigate through the profiles in that folder. <laughs> Gain channel, no. Usually G stands for gain, so that's gain at two out of 10. Let's go to five. Yeah. And if you're curious about what any of this actually means, you can go back to the Tone Hunt page and they'll tell you everything. That is one of the downsides of this being open source is there's not one centralized location for everything. And there's no real consistent way of doing things or labeling things. Everybody just kind of does what they want. There are general guidelines that people follow, but there's no like strict rules 
and you can upload anything to Tone Hunt. So with 14,000 different AMP profiles up there right now, some of them are bound to be bad. But in the end, it all just kind of comes down to preference. And the interface is really straightforward. You have input, you have a noise gate, bass, middle, treble. Those are EQs that are after the AMP profile. And then your output. The normalize button here is supposed to help with the volume differences between the profiles so that they all output at relatively the same volume. You can turn the EQ off if you want, and you can turn the noise gate off if you want. So that's pretty much it. I hope this video was helpful for anybody curious about the Neuro Amp Modeler, how to download it, how to get started, and how to get profiles onto your computer load it up into the Neuro Amp Modeler so you can enjoy it just as much as I do. And stay tuned because it seems like people are constantly working on the Neural Amp Modeler and it's being incorporated into other companies' products and pieces of technology. Um, I know a lot of people are waiting for it to be in stereo. A lot of people are waiting for it to be put into a pedal so you can take it live easier. The sky's the limit with this thing. It's awesome. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and I will see you in the next video.